In the present case, color mismatch together with asymmetry in gingival level and emergence profile exists in maxillary right central tooth restored with a metal ceramic crown. The gingival level is 1 mm below the left central tooth. A black triangle exists at the papilla between the two central teeth. And finally, the crown is narrower than it should be at the distal embrasure region. All problems related with the shape can be resolved only with small modifications during tooth preparation without any surgical intervention on the soft tissue. We have to go through the subgingival region during preparation to make the gingival line alignment. The margin should be placed 1.5 mm below the existing gingival level for a 1 mm asymmetry. First, a non-traumatic retraction is made. For this purpose, an aluminium chloride containing astringent paste is injected into the sulcus and left for 3 minutes. Moreover, we place it over the gingival also to obtain an additional gingival retraction. These pastes do not injure the junctional epithelium and thus do not cause irreversible gingival recession in the long term. They are more advantageous than the cords in these terms. After the waiting period, the paste is removed under water spray and a 1 mm temporary retraction is obtained. We can easily detect the retraction amount with the red line at the cervical region of the tooth as a result of blood clot. The gingival level before paste application and the situation immediately after washing. The temporary retraction period resulting from the vasoconstricting astringent is approximately 10 minutes. In other words, we have 10 minutes for the margin preparation. We will prepare the margin line with sonic burrs that do not harm or bleed the tissue since we will penetrate 0.5 mm into the gingiva. A 0.8 mm chamfer type margin will be prepared since a translucent zirconia framework will be used. We are slowly finishing our preparation with the corresponding sonic tip. After final surface finishing, the temporary acrylic crown prepared with the direct method on the existing crown is dried in. Its marginal adaptation is not appropriate as natural. For this purpose, a high-strength intraoral acrylic-like structure 3 is injected followed by the temporary crown placement. The excess material is removed before setting and we apply finishing with the sound for optimal marginal adaptation. Some amount of acrylic is added at the distal embrasure region in order to achieve symmetry and left a little bit bulky. We locate the papilla region to prevent black triangle at the approximal contact. We have mentioned this subject in detail in our previous videos. We remove and control the temporary crown after setting is complete and finally polish the gingival part if no improper margin line is present. Three weeks later, the patient is recalled and the gingiva is symmetrically contoured with the temporary crown exactly fitting at the margin. We fabricate the crown through a computer-aided design and manufacturing technique after intraoral scanning and loot it with a resin-modified glass ionomer cement. Control immediately after the cementation and one month later.